And to provide some advice to help with our pet's joint health, we welcome Dr. Callum Irvine from Pet Doctors. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, we've just been talking about off air how we both have run over our dogs at certain times, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is a horrible experience. It is. And I think that's affecting my dog's joint health now. But for the average pet owner, how do you know whether your pet has arthritis? Well, it's that time of year where it's getting cold. Well, it's very cold yeah. and, and our pets are starting to show some of the signs of arthritis. And we know that most pets over the age of eight are probably going to be having some degree of arthritis. There's plenty of studies to show that. But the problem is they can't tell us. So they can't speak to us and tell us that they're painful or uncomfortable. So the critical thing is for us to be looking out for those signs in those pets. So what do we look for? Well, it varies a lot and it can be quite difficult. So some pets will show really obvious signs. So they may be favouring a leg or not walking the way they used to. But in other pets, it can be much more subtle. And so sometimes we've really got to be looking carefully to try and see what those signs of arthritis are. And that's important for us as vets because we're wanting to know those signs when you bring your pet into yeah. us. Sometimes when I pick my dog up, she will, and she's not a bitey dog, but she'll almost like try to nip you. And I assume it's because she's hurting in some way. Yeah, so dogs are, are often easier than cats in a way to understand when they're feeling discomfort. Generally, they're going to show you the signs. So they might be limping. It's really important to observe what they're doing in their normal behaviours. So for some dogs, it's that they don't like being handled or they might be licking at an area a little bit more than normal. Some dogs, it's just that they won't jump into the car like they used to or they're dragging behind on the walk. Um, and in some, it's just when they're off the lead, you know, that they're not walking in the way that they used to or running. A little bit hobbly. Yeah. So what about cats then? Well, cats are far more challenging. So cats are, are an interesting species in that they really are very good at showing or not showing the signs of discomfort. And so when we're looking at cats, often it's really subtle things like they may not be coming through the cat door the way they used to, or they might be sleeping more, they might be more reluctant to be touched, they might be just grooming in an area a little bit more than they used to. See, they might be reluctant to be touched. I mean, cats, you never know, do you? Because sometimes they just want to do their own thing anyway. Well, that's it, they're individuals, but, uh, but it's all about noticing the change in their behaviour. So if I start seeing these sort of symptoms, should I get my pet checked by a vet? Yeah, absolutely. So normally what we'd suggest in any animal as they're getting older is that you're coming in for a routine checkup, and particularly if you're seeing those kind of signs, we want to know about it. And then we'd be doing some sort of examination and having a look. So part of that will be establishing whether there's some pre-existing things going on in older animals. Sometimes they've got kidney disease or other issues. But a lot of it will be just about having a careful feel, moving the joints and just feeling whether there's signs of discomfort. And seeing what's wrong. So what can you do if your pet does have arthritis? Well, there's quite a lot of things these days. So we've got some great medications. Um, so anti-inflammatory medications now for pets are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of new therapies out there. Um, so relieving the pain is, a, is a, a really important step. Sitting alongside that, we've got um, supplements. So there's things like green lip muscle extract, and we've actually got our own brand of that called Selectra, which is available to people through pet doctor stores. Um, and diets are really important part. So there's some amazing therapeutic diets out there now that are really valuable in treating joint disease. So what, what, a little bit more about the diet, so you can actually help your older pet by what you're feeding them. Yeah, so diets are a sort of one-stop shop in a way, and they're really, really convenient for a lot of pet owners because they'll have some of those joint support um, supplements added into them. Um, but they're also really valuable in that one of the critical things about uh, arthritis in older pets is that it can be a real problem if they become overweight. So the fatter they are, uh, the more those joints are having to do some work and the more pain they're going to feel. And the other aspect of that is that fat tissue in itself is actually an inflammatory tissue. So if you've got excessive fat on the body, then you're actually going to feel the pain in those joints more than you would normally. So what other changes can we make then? Um, so it's really important not just to be thinking about reducing weight, although that's important, uh, gentle exercise, having a normal routine but just being limited in what we're doing and there's a lot of things that we can wrap around that like special bedding, heat packs, those kind of things to make them more comfortable. It sounds very much like how you treat a human actually. Very similar. <laughs> not dissimilar at all. Hey thank you for that, that's been enlightening. Thank you. If you have any concerns or even if your pet is just getting to their senior years, make an appointment for a wellness check at Pet Doctors. You can visit nzpetdoctors.co.nz for clinic locations and don't forget too that you can Yukonuba are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba dry food. To download the voucher, go to yukonuba.co.nz slash the cafe.